Okay, so I got the first hole tilted, and it's gonna work fine. But the first one was the easy one. Now I'm gonna have to try to go 90 degrees, put a whole 90 degrees, you know, uh, to this one on the same spot. So let's see how that goes. Okay, this is what I machined. Um, just drilled two holes in this flat washer. Uh, one's gonna be attached head tilt, the other one's gonna be head nod. They're supposed to be 90 degrees apart, but unfortunately, because of my machining, it looks like it's a little, little less than 90 degrees. But hopefully, it, it'll be close enough for hand shoes and horse grenades. Hand shoes and horse grenades? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, so this is now gonna go on here. And uh, the servo will go in the back and link to the top of here. You know, here it is, it's on there, but you know, I wanted to de delay cutting this bracket out, but look, it's hitting the washer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this bracket out like this. You know, just go around like that. So here we go. Well, there I cut it. And miraculously, I still have all 10 of my fingers, and I didn't even cut myself. Uh, craftsmanship isn't that good, uh, but I sand it down. There's no sharp edges on it. So, uh, hopefully no one will inspect my work too closely. And as you can see here, hopefully uh, I didn't damage the integrity of the holes by, you know, keep on taking this bracket on and off on and off hopefully this is the last time I had to take the bracket off okay so I have it put all back together and look I totally free movement and it's not hitting anything and then this thing right here spins so now I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount a servo here, oh, sorry, I wasn't looking through the viewfinder. Mount a servo here, so link is attached from there to that ball joint, and I had to make this is. I had to make sure that this is to totally in line with the threads, so that way, when it goes when it goes up and down, head nod, it goes straight up and down. It doesn't, you know, if the linkage is not uh, straight with the pivot point. It's gonna go, head nod will go like this. And that's why I'm gonna mount these like this. On other designs, they mount them like this. They cut a hole in here and mount them through here like this. And uh, that makes it so when it does the head nod, instead of going perfectly, perfectly, you know, up and down, it kinda always tilts. So that's the next part. Okay, so I have the ball joint on the rod there. And one thing I noticed is when it's gonna push it, you see how it, it can push like that? But I think once I have the other servo tied here, and this thing will actually spin, this thing will spin in correlation with this thing, we won't have that problem. Now, I had to modify this ball joint end. It wasn't the diameter was for 256 rod and these screws that came with the servo were not uh were bigger so i actually had to take a drill i popped the ball out uh held it with pliers took a drill drilled out that ball now the ball is kind of rough i should sandpaper it down and it won't turn that well but uh you know i had to kind of rig that uh linkage up so now i've got to go and mount this servo to the back here and I gotta mount it so that this rod end is in line with this threaded rod. Okay so I took the plate off again and I know for a fact this is where the threaded rod is you know it goes through here so it's in line with these holes right here so I'm gonna have to mount this so that this linkage is in line like that and that this servo is squared. At 
Servo City. It was a dollar for each of the for a pair of these. And I'm gonna screw these into here and then screw the servo there. So here we go. Well I kind of messed up. As you can see, this is a little crooked, but I don't think it's gonna affect it at all. It's pretty close. So let's all put it together and see how it looks. Oh yeah, these things, they were um dollar a pair at Servo City. And I just put one screw on the top of each one and one screw on the side and it's pretty solid. Okay, so far so good. The only thing is, when it's like this, it binds up when I try to push it down. So what I need to do is take this and move it this one notch this way and it shouldn't bind up. Okay, I've been messing with it and I still haven't gotten it, but what I figured the secret is when this is all the way up, you see this is bottomed out here, this arm should be down a little more when this is bottomed out. That way it won't bind up. If it's down there a little more, it should easily go this way. Okay, so I have it hooked up to the Arduino with this potentiometer to control the position. It's making a noise like it's struggling to get somewhere. But, uh. I'm gonna. Even though it's a little jerky and stuff, and I haven't broken anything yet, and it's moving kind of weird, I'm gonna continue on. You see, it's making a sound. I hope I don't burn the servo out. See, it's a little sloppy. You see there, it's not making any sound. But it's, I just hope I don't break anything. But I'm gonna go and continue on, and hopefully when I get the head tilt in, this head tilt in should tie this washer to this so there's no more movement, and hopefully it'll make everything a little more stable. But that's what I have so far.